It's hard to do justice to each incremental Android 12 beta update, but beta 4 added some notable features that we missed in our initial hands-on sweep. So with that in mind, you're in for a treat as we dive back in with yet more new features to show you. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. If you like to use your phone in landscape mode when watching videos or playing mobile games, then you might be happy to hear that Android 12 Beta 4 has smaller, more compact notifications when your device is in landscape orientation. The change sees incoming notifications adjusted and resized into a more central position on your display rather than spanning the entire width of that notification panel. These compact notifications manage to effectively cut down on white space but an added problem actually sees the number of smart reply options greatly reduced. On top of that, certain UI elements are cut off even with a somewhat unfinished look in general. Introduced back with the December Pixel feature drop in the latter portion of 2020, adaptive charging forces your Pixel to slow charge overnight to try and help preserve the overall device battery health. In Android 12 Beta 4, Google appears to have tweaked the smart charging method so that when charging overnight, the actual charging speed from 80 to 100% is now much slower than it was previously. You can actually check when your device has hit 100% by heading to settings, battery and battery usage and check that for yourself. It seems as though this change means that when charging overnight, devices seem to be hitting that full or 100% mark from 30 to 90 minutes before your scheduled device alarm. And while this is a fairly minor or not technically user facing feature, this minor tweak could really help ensure that your device battery stays healthier for longer. Google Sans text was fully detailed back at IO 2021 and in a very subtle change is being used as part of the now playing ambient music identification feature. You might not even notice the difference on your lock screen and it's more prominent and visually distinct with G and Q characters than the previous now playing font use. That said, the change is minor, but it does make a big difference to the overall cohesion of Android 12 Beta 4. The lock screen has seen some other major changes since the Android 12 Beta phase started and the cards and passes icon has seen a slight change to make it more obvious just what it means. Access to your on-device credit cards plus your loyalty cards. Gone is the old fanned wallet icon in favour of a simple credit card glyph that while not quite as visually appealing will make more sense to people maybe not quite versed in all facets of Android. The functionality itself hasn't changed, it's just a brand new icon that launches Google Pay quickly from your lock screen. Another lock screen UI tweak sees the actual device lock icon or padlock move into a more central position, provided you have a passcode or biometric data keeping your Pixel device secure. The padlock hasn't moved far, but it's more visible further up your display when you just quickly grab your smartphone and want a quick glance at your lock screen. You could easily file this under known bugs, but the Pixel Launcher has seen some tweaks to help improve the widget resize feature in Android 12 Beta 4. There are still some issues with how dynamic color works in Android 12, and the Pixel Launcher has been tweaked slightly in an attempt to make certain UI elements more visible and therefore easier to maneuver. We have noticed that backgrounds with prominent purple colors or tones will still have problems whereby you cannot see the remove button for those widgets, that's not all though, as this tweak removes some of the colouring or shadows in favour of lower contrast guidelines and those shadows we mentioned. Unfortunately, it's not quite consistent and even side by side with Beta 3, it's hard to tell what has changed even if you have stuck with the same wallpaper across each Android version. However, in most cases, it is an improvement and does make it easier to resize those widgets, remove app icons and just move things around your home screen. With Active Edge now effectively dead on newer Pixel devices, Google is giving us the option to press and hold the power button to activate the Google Assistant in the long term. In another minor tweak in Beta 4, this gesture can now be found within the dedicated gestures menu for easier access, and there you can enable and disable as you see fit. So in all honesty, the Android 12 Beta phase hasn't been quite as buggy as it has in some recent years. That's not to say that bugs and issues haven't been present, because there are certainly a few issues here and there that some of you will be annoyed by. We thought though that because of that it's important to note some pretty sizable issues with this Android 12 Beta 4 update, so here's a few 
minor problems or major problems as you see them that we've noticed so far. So not all notifications are, seem to be coming through properly after the Android 12 Beta 4 update, with banner notifications not working for quite a large portion of people out there. You'll still get status bar notification icons, but the actual pop-up banners that appear on your screen when an app pings your device might not show up on your phone. Some apps will work just fine and you may not encounter this problem at all, no matter what pixel device you're actually running. However, we've spotted that if you get multiple notifications from the same app, kind of back to back, you may see banner notifications reappear on the second or third pop-up. That said, there is no solution as yet, and this may be different on an app by app basis, but we are hoping that Google will be able to fix this in a future beta release. One of the most substantial bugs though in Android 12 Beta 4 is with VPN support. Using a VPN will result in all kinds of problems if you are running this latest build. And if you do use a VPN, connecting will throw up zero errors on your device. But even if your third party provider or app seems to be working as normal and showing a connection, the system won't actually spot this. So your device will show it as connected, such as in the status bar or in the actual settings itself. But loading sites will pose problems, especially if you use a VPN to access geo-restricted sites and services. Google has confirmed that the issues are known about, but at the moment only the Google One VPN appears to work correctly. Third-party VPNs such as Nord, Surfshark and VPN Express, are the ones that we tested, simply do not work. If you rely heavily on a VPN, it might be sensible to back up your data and downgrade to Android 12 Beta 3, at least until a fix arrives. So in combination with our first deep dive, that should be just about every major single feature that we've found so far in Android 12 Beta 4. Sure, there might be some hidden options that we have yet to find, but with platform stability confirmed, we'd wager that changes in upcoming releases will be kept to a minimum. But we want to ask you, what's your favorite new feature in Android 12 Beta 4 across both the videos we've created? Let us know down in the comment sections below. Until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.